So it's been just over three weeks now since we got the last official communication from DICE and EA uh, about Battlefield 2042. And this post was telling us that there would be delays for the scoreboard update and that season one would also be delayed into summer 2022. And in that specific uh, blog post, they said they were also planning an improved player feedback process with all of us. And they say, as we begin working on new changes, including map design, we'll be sharing our efforts with you, knowing that your feedback on the progress is critical. So we are now three weeks after this blog post and nothing about anything has been said on the official Battlefield Twitter. There's been no information whatsoever on what they're actually working on or what changes they're bringing to the maps. Um, there's We've been completely out of said feedback loop that... Uh, they said was critical to the progress of their work on improving Battlefield 2042 and bring it up to their ambitions and our expectations. So what's up, Dice? What's happening? What can we expect in terms of changes to the maps, uh, gameplay? Uh, what are you guys working on? Like, what's happening? Nothing has been said since then. Hell, they didn't even share the new skin that was released today in Battlefield for the weekly challenge. It seems like they're just going completely dark on communication. And honestly, um, the future of Battlefield 2042 isn't looking all that great with player numbers dwindling quickly uh, below sometimes 2,000 players on Steam. Albeit that's not indicative of the entirety of the player base, but it does paint a pretty bleak picture for the current state of Battlefield 2042 and how it is not uh, at all what the Battlefield players or actually any players want from the game like with the amount of studios they have working on battlefield 2042 and if they really truly want to improve the feedback process and get players involved in said feedback uh, as they stated it is critical to their progress uh, i think the best step or the only step forward would be to release a cte so a community test environment for Battlefield 2042 that allows players to go out, test the new changes, and give feedback on it. Not wait until everything is done and then we start the same cycle again where people are unhappy because there wasn't enough feedback taken into account. A CTE would go lengths in terms of getting feedback from your players as you so uh, explained in your blog post want. Um, CT did great things for Battlefield 4. Hell, there was even a map built from the ground up with the players. Like on the CTE, there was even a gray box, I think that's the proper term, of the map uh, that we now know as Operation Outbreak. And I truly believe that the CTE uh, was a big help to the now success of Battlefield 4. Uh, hell, we even had a CTE in Battlefield 1 and some changes were tried out on there and the overwhelming community feedback was no, these changes are good or yes, these changes are in fact what we want in the live game. And when those changes went through the mass testing of the player base of the game, then they would release those changes onto the live game. So those people that don't want to try it out, uh, they don't have to, but at least you get a very big pool of feedback as opposed to the somewhat possibly insignificant amount of testing you would get in-house with only the studios working on the game. So I think the best thing it could do for Battlefield 2042 is build a CTE, get players involved into the feedback loop, as they say, like that might be something that's already in the works, but I think a CTE being released sooner rather than later would go lengths in uh, getting the players involved, getting the feedback that they need to improve the game and make it live up to their ambitions. But anyways, that'll do it for today's video. And I also want to take the time real quick to uh, offer my thoughts to those who are in Ukraine right now. Stay safe out there and I hope everything uh, gets solved quickly for all of you. Um, but yeah, anyways, that'll do it. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.